Hi everybody, it's John again. Um, first off, I'd like to say Happy New Year's to everybody. It's now 2016. I have to apologize. I haven't been able to do a video recently. Um, I've been moving into a new home and that takes a little bit of time. So, uh, the first item of the year I'm going to review is, uh, well, it's the Millennium Falcon. The Millennium Falcon. From the movie that we all watched, the uh, Star Wars Force, Force Awakens, uh, Millennium Falcon. Um, I went and seen the movie twice. Once on the big giant screen and then once on the big giant screen in 3D. And um, I really just kind of wanted to get my hands on this thing. So, there it is, the Millennium Falcon. Um, the box art's pretty cool. It's got some really nice detail on it. Uh, it does look like it has a gimmick, probably for the kids. Might be pretty fun though. Um, it has this little secret Nerf rocket that you can use to fire at your enemies. I like how it's going to be hidden so it doesn't really look like it's a odd addition to the toy itself. Now what I don't understand is the pairing of figures that appear in the package. Um, it has Finn, BB-8, and Chewbacca. And at no time were any of these three really together. Um, I mean, I could have seen if it was Finn, BB-8, and Rey. If you've seen the movie, you would know why they'd be together. Or maybe just Chewbacca and Han, because They've always been together, or even Chewbacca and Rey for the end of the movie. I just don't know what this specific three that are paired up is for. It's a little strange, but let's uh, look a little bit more at the box art here. Um, yeah, so let's flip to the back. And there's a little bit of a look at the back of the box it's got quite a bit of added little rockets that you can fire off uh, the cockpit looks like it opens um, it has some kind of voice activated or not voice activated but it has sound added in and a little light screen by the looks of it um, but I'll quickly take it out of the box and take a look at it. Um, it should be pretty cool. I don't know how big it's going to be. You know, I have seen it, this uh, particular model at multiple prices from 189 to 177 to 148 to 109 uh, just recently. Um, I got it for a pretty good deal. So uh, bear with me just a second and I'll open it up and we'll take a look. Oh, well, I do really like this side artwork. Let's see if I can kind of get a shot of it. With Finn, Chewbacca, and uh, BB on there. Um, Alright, hold on just a second. Okay, back again. So, uh, let's start with the figures. Uh, of course, we'll start with uh, BB here. Um, he is yeah, pretty standard. He's a big lump of plastic. He has some, uh, worn out looks to him, like he's been through the desert quite a bit. He's a little bit dirty. He, his head does turn, so he has a little bit of articulation, and he has the ability to pop his head forward and back like he does in the movie, depending on how you want him looking. He's pretty cool. Kind of like BB-88. Maybe eight. Sorry, stay there, little buddy. Um, Chewy here is built just like the old school figures. He has no head articulation. His arms go up and down, and his legs move. Um, I like the color scheme on him. The little details in his fur on his neck are cool. He's of course got his. Uh, up in bandolier on him. He has 
I believe this pug lugs in to the cockpit, possibly, and his uh, bowcaster weapon. He's also very nice. Overall, he does have his both of his hands do grip his gun if you want to put it in his other hand. Uh, pretty nice face. Come on, Chewy. Very movie accurate. Of course, they've been making this guy since 1977, so. He should look pretty good by now. And then the third figure that came with it was Finn. Same articulation, just the arms and legs. But for some reason, he sculpted with this really odd foot. And that makes him really hard to stand. So you have to balance him so his back foot is back, his forward foot is forward, and you can get him to stand. It's not perfect. Comes with a blaster. Don't know where they came up with the blaster that he's using. Doesn't look like really anything from the movies. His face, though. Why is that one eye? Just a little bit too to the center. Uh, I guess if he's sitting in the cockpit, you won't really notice him too much. He's got a little bit of details on him. Nothing too fancy. He's not too great. So we'll move on. To the Millennium Falcon. Now, or this guy here came with a quite a bit of decals to put on. Move back a little bit here. Now it has all sorts of crazy features on it. Um, on the bottom right here is where the batteries go in. And there is a power switch. So, the power is turned on. And I believe this is the light speed button. Or maybe it shoots rockets. <laughs> uh, as you can see, that big old cannon popped out of the middle. And there are rockets inside the <laughs> or not. No rockets inside of there. Let's turn around the other side. Maybe they're hidden over here. Oh, there's some rockets. So we can load a rocket. Causes it to fire. Let's see. Hmm, not that. Well, what is the firing mechanism on a rocket? That should be the switch. But it doesn't seem to fire right now. That's okay, it's pretty gimmicky. <laughs> so we have the standard cockpit. It does open up. That is where most of the decals all went. And you can flip the seat up. And uh, sit your guys in here. Chewy sits. Shows they should be able to fit both. Ok, 
kind of, I guess. Yeah, they both in there. Chewie's kind of sitting on his lap. Ooh. Okay, the fly uh, flying and uh, landing sound effects are pretty cool. Let's see what else this guy has on the back. The back opens up. There's a little trigger right there. And you can move back a little bit. Use this as a extension onto the back to add a another spot onto the Falcon. And it comes with a turret that you can plug into any one of these spots. And have your uh, figures go in. So there's pegs, which are good because it'll help Finn stand. And he can. Uh, Blast away with the turret if you need. Pretty interesting detailed piece. It has uh, where tear is the Millennium Falcon wood after all these years. The back of the Millennium Falcon has multiple play spots, which is one of them, the secret compartment. And I don't know how secret it can be if it just continues to open. I'm wondering if and the turret can. Nah. Where are you supposed to be able to hide the weapons? There's a storage compartment over here for uh, a little robot boy. Go on in there. There's a peg for him to sit in. Now this, activates the hyperdrive, <laughs> and that causes it to fail, which is kind of cool. to vibrate, all right. So there's also the, a medical bay to put uh, Chewie in. If, of course, he gets injured, there's a seat for Finn. And it does have the battle chest type game included in it. Now, there's also in the center pop-up turbo laser turret which again is supposed to oh there it goes huh. so the button on this side triggers the laser and it also opens up. You can put a fighter in there when you're figures. Let's see if can get a look at the front. All these little guns fire up. There's some light action. Front. And where's that button? There it is. <laughs> it's kind of fun. What's this other little button do? I wonder if this is a trigger to fire. Hmm. 
Oh, it's the uh, laser sound effects come off of this guy. Right here. So how do we get this to fire? It obviously has to fire. <laughs> it's taken off again. So we have to push it in a little bit harder. Oh, now it's loaded, I see. Let's see if it fires. Ready? Very impressive. Hmm. Well, doesn't seem to fire very well. Doesn't want to lock into place. That's a kind of a bummer. Well, that piece definitely is not very fun at all. So keep in mind, maybe you get a dud. You can't even get the rocket out. Mechanism's a little wonky. Oh, is that what it is? You load it like that, and... <laughs> there it goes. See? I figured it all out. So you have to load it. We'll load it. And then it'll fire. The sound effects are pretty cool. See if we can knock the background over. Um, <laughs> anyway, we'll take a shot. It works pretty well. What happens if we trigger it in flight? That little... This little foot is what triggers whether it's, uh... Stationary or flying. It's pretty interesting. Um, it's got a lot of nice details on it. Little radar dish. The pop up gun's nice. And the cockpit, of course. Um, I don't have any of the vintage Millennium Falcons, unfortunately. And uh, now's not the time to buy them, because this movie's made everybody Star Wars crazy again. And man, they're going for some crazy prices online. Um, one of these days I might get one. But there's one thing I definitely miss. Uh, is the extendable feet. I don't know why that is. That, that just seems something that I miss. really the this little secret compartment area here maybe you can store hideaways anybody else that's trying to escape I really wish this would stay down I'm gonna have to try to play with it to see if I can force it to clip um, overall it's pretty cool due to
due to the fact that the uh, this guy stays up, uh, Finn's doesn't stand very well by himself and has a, such a terrible, terrible paint job on his face. Well, it's not terrible, terrible on his face, but still it's... Uh, uh, looks like he got hit in the head. Or hit his head. Um, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Um, that little droid's pretty cool. The pop-up figure's pretty cool. Once I figured out how to fire the rocket... Uh, does it fire without having to have the sound on? Oh, yeah, it does. I even know where that other rocket oh, flew all the way to the back of the room. Uh, thankfully, you have two. Again, I said you have to load it. There it goes. One more for fun, huh? <laughs> so, there we have it. William Falcon. It flies through the air. Possibly. Now there's supposedly a way to... Is there a way to trigger it to just do the hyperspace? The hyperdrive. Press the little trigger to activate the hyperdrive. Mm -hmm. A little thing. Oh yeah. There it goes. So supposedly, when you turn that on, the hyperdrive is broken. And it doesn't fire. So well, that's the sound of it failing. And power it up. And your hyperdrive engine works. That's actually pretty neat. Well. As always, um, thanks for checking it out. Um, I'll be doing a few more videos shortly. Um, got a couple more Masters of the Universe figures to go through. I'm super excited. There are the Thundercats that are coming up pretty soon. So uh, please give me a, a like and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. And um, enjoy your chance to see uh, Star Wars Force Awakens while you can. I walked out feeling like what it must have felt like when you've seen the first Star Wars in the theater. It was just amazing. Um, I had a good time. I walked in with no expectations and walked out very happy. Uh, so thank you for checking me out and um, I'll see you later. Bye.